Prime Minister Modi, my dear friend, the dear friend of Israel and the Jewish state. Thank you for uh, your magnificent hospitality, your friendship, and for this forum of business leaders from Israel and India. I always say to uh, Prime Minister Modi when I have a chance, I say, uh, you guys who do the work, we're the guys who are supposed not to interfere with you. <laughs> and we do our best. Uh, I want to uh, say briefly how much I admire what Prime Minister Modi is doing in India. He's doing two basic things that I want to talk about because we've been doing it and now we can do it together. The first is economic reform. The second is the promotion of technology. Economic reform is key because you cannot move if you're stuck. If you're mired in very high taxes and very high bureaucracy, uh, it's very difficult to move because people want to be able to see the fruit of their labors uh, and for that, you have to have a streamlined economy. I just heard from Prime Minister Modi an impressive statistic that India moved in the three short years, that four years that you have been uh, stewarding uh, its effort, 42 places in the business-friendly uh, index. I have to say we have not moved as much. There is not going to be any more uh, this distinction between high-tech and low-tech because over time just about everything will be technologized, everything. We see it in specific areas, we see it in uh, uh, obviously in communications, we see it in, uh, in water, we see it in agriculture. We talked uh, in the room uh, adjacent to this briefly now about not smart cities, smart fields, precision agriculture. And what we're seeing is the arrival of something new in history that is reshaping the world, not merely reshaping our economies, but reshaping our world. And that is the confluence of big data, connectivity, and artificial intelligence. This is changing everything. We talk about a special project to do together to revolutionize the agriculture in India and Israel and everywhere in the world, to use big data, artificial intelligence, and connectivity to be able to target the individual plant. Now in the last five to 10 years, really in the last five years, we have a car industry because cars, the value of cars, the cost of cars will be 85%, very soon, 85% software, 15% hardware. A computer on wheels. Now we can compete. We have 500 startup companies that receive about three to four billion dollars uh, investment every year. 